I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, I wasn't actually planning to do this video, but it kind of fell in my lap. I have a customer that has uh, this particular bandsaw and the upper wheel sliding bracket, you can see here, is cracked. Um, so this was kind of going to be a continuation of my Rockwell Delta repair video, but this is a different bandsaw. The sliding bracket on that bandsaw is fine on the Rockwell, but we'll replace it here. So it's very easy to replace. Let me show you how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this bandsaw around so we can work from the front. Okay, so we got the bandsaw flipped around. I got the blade off, um, the covers off, and the insert out here. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the top wheel off. Just has one nut to do that. Very, very easy. So you're going to loosen that, and hopefully that just threads right off. And then what will happen, this wheel will slide off. So um, if you're... While you have the wheel off, just make sure the bearings are fine. This is perfectly fine here. But you can get replacement bearings as well if you do need them. So, if we're looking here, the other thing you're going to want to check is the hinge. So this is the hinge right here. Um, just make sure there's no... A lot of times when these uh, sliding brackets get broken, these can also get broken. Um, it looks fine but you can get replacement ones if you need it. So before you order parts, just disassemble it to see how things look. Um, so once I'm at this point, we're gonna take this back guard off. And it's pretty simple, let's loosen these guys. And we are in business. All right, we have everything off. So now, sometimes these can be a little bit tough, but just slide the bracket out, look at that. <laughs> Casting is definitely broken. Um, so, yeah, from here, we are pretty well ready to start replacing parts. The only thing we need to do yet is take the spring out of the back along with this uh, um, threader rod here, as well as the hinge. So that's what we'll do next. Now, something I should mention, um, you can't replace the hinge without replacing the uh, tension block here, the sliding bracket. You can replace the sliding bracket without replacing the hinge because the only way to remove this hinge, essentially, you've got to break the sliding bracket here. So, because the casting is broken here, I should be able to yeah, pop that out there and get that pin. So, now i got the hinge out. So, I'm going to save this because that's in good shape here. Nothing wrong with that. And then, the only other part I need is this threaded rod, so it's just a matter of unscrewing that square nut. Sliding that spring out. And there's my nut, or my threaded rod there. So this is garbage. So now we go ahead and start putting new parts in. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do here <clears throat> is uh, reinstall this hinge. So these little black pins will pop out. And this will slide right in there like so. So then, from the outside, you're going to slide these pins through like that. And just put a little, make sure they bottom out on that casting. Same thing on this side. Slide that pin through. And just get her pushed in all the way here. Okay, so that hinge should move up and down here. The last thing that you need to do, there'll be a little Allen key here that you will tighten, and a little Allen key here. Now these are adjustable, so you can adjust that top wheel. So before I get too excited here, I'm just gonna center that pin right in the center of my hole. That should get me close, and then I can fiddle with it at the very end if I want to. Okay, we're ready to start uh, reassembling everything. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that.
right, so we got it all back in uh, working order here. We got that uh, sliding bracket replaced and she is good as new. Um, so again, like I mentioned with the Rockwell, um, these castings aren't really the highest quality metal and they do tend to break and when they break, they shatter. Um, so impossible to fix until you get a replacement part. Uh, the replacement parts are available on our website so you can find them there. And if anyone else <coughs> has any questions, you can email me at info at stockmsupply.com. Thanks for watching.